So, what's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Hugo Builds. This one's going to be uh, more of the vlog. Uh, we're just going to go through kind of the few little things that have been done over the past weeks. I know it's been a little while for a variety of reasons. I was just getting pretty burnt out from, uh, you know, working on the house, working on these videos. I needed just a little break. And another thing is just uh, not very much stuff was done on the house in the past few weeks. Essentially, since we painted, we've just been waiting on a lot of stuff to get here. So all the flooring's been ordered. You know, so that's the hardwood, the tile. Uh, we're having to find trades to do this. So all this stuff is starting to line up. And uh, hopefully, kind of in the next few weeks, we're going to see a lot of progress. I went to pick up the tile this week. So everything's here ready for install. That should be starting on Monday. It's the weekend now. Uh, this weekend, we're going to be doing all the final paint. We were waiting on doors to do the final paint, but uh, again, the doors is one thing we that were late by multiple weeks, so we've just been waiting and waiting. There's not much we can do other than call and email and complain, but I mean, the guys can only work so fast, so the doors are now finally here. Uh, my neighbor, he's the same handy guy that's been helping us out with uh, a whole bunch of little jobs around the house. He's been doing the install of all the doors. He's pretty much done upstairs. I'm just going to run you guys through uh, all the little jobs that have been done over the past few weeks since the last video. Let's go check that out. Alright, so you can see behind me here that we have a whole bunch of stuff laying around. Uh, we have the tile over here, we have all the trim, uh, which are going to be the baseboards uh, around here. We have all the trim back there for the door frames. We have a big metal bender here for... Uh, the exterior guy, that should be starting all next week, the exterior cladding, so that, once that's done, that's going to be, um, you know, a really significant uh, step forward. Everything seems to be just kind of coming together. As you can see, we got some of these doors, we went with the single panel, uh, kind of shaker style door in MDF. A pretty significant thing we did uh, here, which was pretty labor intensive, was, um, to put down all the subfloor for the uh, tile. Essentially, this is the kitchen area. We put in uh, 5 8 plywood. We left uh, about a 16 inch uh, gap in between every sheet. This isn't tongue and groove. This is just regular kind of square edged plywood. And essentially, after that we put a screw at every four inches. Along the seam, we tried to do it along uh, every two inches. And this is just to give a really nice level base for your tile. With time, we don't want any of this stuff to move and crack the tile. So the tile installer um, asked for this. Yeah, so we're going to have a really solid subfloor. I kind of spent the last uh, few evenings drilling all this stuff. I hired a guy to just kind of cut all the plywood, put it in place. He put in a few screws, but the uh, tile guy demanded more. The backyard is an absolute mess. Um, construction really kind of tore apart our backyard that uh, was pretty nice. And we're gonna have to get this ready for rental uh, for in about two months. So there's gonna be a lot of landscaping work to do once we get here. The reason I'm outside is because there's another major development is that the roof is finally done and sealed uh, with the metal panels. Uh, my siding guy does phenomenal work but he was working full-time for another company and can only do this on his free time so it took a really long time to get it done however uh, all the panels are on the roof the roof fence are up there it's all fully sealed and uh, it looks phenomenal I'm really happy with how it turned out the uh, metal panels have been uh, ordered for the wall so they should be here in the next few days the siding installer Chris went uh, he's going full-time back to his own company so he's now going to be working full-time on this house on the outside so as soon as we get the materials we're gonna do the strapping then we're gonna do the the uh, metal panels on the side and then we're going with the uh, black uh, Maybach product for uh, <clears throat> for kind of the bottom and then the peaks now let's check out that roofing thing while we're out here the grading now that it's spring and the snow is gone 
the grading is terrible in its current state. We're gonna have to get a landscaper in here and uh, essentially get all this grading to go uh, away from the house to be shedding water. Since we don't have a big overhang above, shedding water away from the foundation is super important. It's important in either case, but uh, it's hard to tell here, but essentially the whole kind of ground has settled and is creating a big depression all along the foundation. So it's really put uh, uh, our uh, sump pump to work uh, this spring. In Ottawa, we've had uh, major flooding and a lot of water, snow melt, uh, raining. This is the first nice day uh, this spring. So uh, once we do the landscaping, the grading is gonna be super important. As you can see, over the past uh, day, my neighbor has been installing these doors. And so we have doors on uh, the whole second level. You can see this is just a super basic shaker, uh, very modern to go with the rest of the house. It is very tricky to get all these doors plumb and level, but uh, this guy has been doing a really good job. So we're ha really happy with the uh, progress. Uh, he probably has another day to do the, uh, the ones on the ground floor uh, next week. So. Check out these doors up here. Uh, so as I walk through here, you can see that all the rooms have doors and these are gonna be painted kind of a charcoal color. So everything in the house is uh, white, super modern, and then we're gonna have uh, black doors and white trim, so it's uh, it should be pretty cool. And again, behind me, you can see the, uh, the doors are both installed. We have the door to the master bedroom as well. And again, more subfloor down here. I just did this one last night. As you can see, we have the Schluter membrane over here. This is a uh, waterproofing uh, tile backer. It's part of the Schluter system, and this is uh, just a curdy membrane. Essentially, it's just this kind of fiberglass reinforced um, waterproofing membrane. You apply that with uh, thin set on the walls, and we're also looking at putting one of these. Um, little shower niches in here actually. I'll show you guys what this looks like. So you see this niche for uh, essentially your soap and stuff. We're actually going to uh, cut that out of the drywall somewhere. Uh, I think the final position is yet to be determined. Uh, and this will kind of go in here somewhere flush with the drywall and then you can tile directly over this stuff and you have a, a nice pre-built uh, shower niche. Um, and again, the benefit of this is that this is fully waterproof as well, and it ties in directly into the uh, Schluter uh, waterproofing system. All right, so that'll be the end of the vlog this week. I think we covered a lot of little things. So let's do a little recap of what was done during the week. The tile was all done, where we have tile, hardwood floor should be coming in, uh, the siding guys started outside. Uh, Iza and I finished the painting, uh, and unfortunately, the uh, drywaller came back to do the prime check uh, after we had done our final paint. So we'll have to do quite a few touch-ups, and we were expecting that we will probably be touching stuff up uh, right while we're moving in. Iza and I have uh, are just about to do a lot of landscaping. Uh, lay some sod in front of the existing house out front. This is just in order to get it nice and pretty so we can rent that out. So let's run upstairs. We can take a quick glance at uh, the tile, the tile down here in the kitchen, and uh, that'll do it. So I'll slate tile over here. As you can see here, Isa painted this kind of uh, terracotta colored uh, headboard and this is kind of a backer for uh, 
the bed to, uh, to sit on. It's centered in between the two spots above. It's just a cool little design detail. We wanted to get that done before the uh, hardwood was laid. So that's pretty cool. It makes a pretty cool background. Uh, still in the works, but it's almost done. We also started buying some finishes, which is pretty cool. This is gonna be the mirror for the master bedroom. We might end up painting the frame, but uh, it's just a used mirror we bought on uh, Facebook Marketplace. There you go, it's a bit more light. So, master bath, almost done. We used the same uh, hexagonal tile pretty much uh, in all the bathrooms and laundry other than the entrance downstairs. Uh, and then we have this kind of white 6x24 tile in a stack pattern uh, in all the showers. So uh, it's not quite done, still super dirty, so I'll give you guys a better look when that's cleaned up, but that should be in a few days. So thanks everyone for watching. Um, keep tuning in, we'll keep pumping out more videos uh, while we finish up the house. And now that it's spring, we can actually do some work outside. So uh, the sighting guy's gonna be here for the next few weeks, so I'm hoping that'll make some pretty cool content. Thanks a lot for watching. I will see you in the next video. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button so that uh, you know you can get all our new content. And then if you hit that little bell, you'll be notified every time I make a new video. So uh, hopefully that should be a bit uh, more often this time around. We have about a month and a half before we move in, so stuff is moving fast. I am just going to start on a uh, kitchen video for next week and hopefully that one will be a bit more design oriented. We ordered all the stuff, uh, we met the uh, carpenter that's going to be doing the install and um, I think that's going to be a pretty cool video so tune in for that one.